It's an early season test on the hardwood between a pair of 1-0 and teams as the Northview Lady Cats welcome in the Central Catholic Fighting Irish. Hello, everybody. Again, Tim Clack bringing you all the action this afternoon for BCSN as we're just five minutes into the first quarter, the second contest of the season for both teams. It's been a back and forth game. Central got off to the hot start, was up 6-2. to two. Northview's settled in nicely on the three-point play conversion by Casey Baumhauer, the reigning NLL Player of the Year and also the Division I commit to St. Bonaventure. Last year, kind of the aha moment where Northview, where it all just clicked together, made it to the district final against Notre Dame, the powerhouse, and tested them, had a chance to tie or win that game two different occasions in the final 17 seconds. And that's where Pat Sayers said his team realized the potential that they could have for the 2020-21 season. Nine-point advantage. Clock winding down. Baumhauer on her way in. Rebound there. Put back up. And it's good. Maddie Taylor, right spot, right time. To give Northview a lead is Erica Haney calling a timeout with 1.5 seconds left in the opening stanza. On the other end, Erica Haney wants her team to be more aggressive and do just that right there. Chloe Crawford with the blow-by and finish. Said at points last year, maybe that they settled for too many threes. She said, I want our team to be aggressive, be tough. Crawford, two points so far in this first half. Crawford wide open in the corner, pulls the trigger, and this is buried. Great communication, the senior, Chloe Crawford, waving her teammate down, calling for the ball, knew she had a wide open look. Crawford calling for the ball, same spot, high arcing three, you betcha. Back to back threes for Chloe Crawford. And we are tied up at 25. In their respected conferences, Northview loaded, trying to win a Northern Lakes League title for the first time since 2015, 2016. They start off the second half with a made three. This is around the world and in. Second made three by Taylor Stacy. Chloe Crawford last season, 40% shooting from outside. She has connected on her last three three-point opportunities, and Casey Baumhauer trying to pick up the old-fashioned three-point play. Her first points since late in the first quarter. Crawford feeling it, and why not? Pulls the trigger again. Chloe Crawford, four straight made threes. I'm trying to locate the nearest fire extinguisher to cool that young lady down. This, an air ball tipped up in the air, ends up in the hands of Taylor Stacy, who will reset the offense here with over two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Creech kicks it back out. Leamy left alone. And she drills it from deep. Chelsea Leamy. The defender left her for just a split second. She took advantage of the opportunity that presented itself. Hunt finds Crawford. Crawford, step back three, yet again! Chloe Crawford, oh my, oh my! Five straight made threes. And here come the Fighting Irish. Crawford is having an outing on this Saturday afternoon. Have to get her the ball here, I would believe. She has the hot hand, underhand runner! Delivered by Moeller, tied at 43. Baumhauer from half court, she banks it in to beat the buzzer. Casey Baumhauer with time winding down, banks it home to give Northview a 46-43 advantage at the end of three quarters of play. Don't go anywhere. Ripped down by Michelson, back out, they whip it around the perimeter, they find a wide open Taylor Stacy who cools off. And Michelson's second offensive rebound, and she cashes it in. You see why Coach Pat Sayer so high on Maddie Michelson, the work that she put on in the offseason, the rebounding ability, and it pays off. A fourth quarter run. 
for the Northview Lady Cats help secure their second win of the season as they knock off the Central Catholic Fighting Irish by a final score of 67 to 50 in that buzzer beater at the end of the third quarter really changed the tempo it was tied at 43 late Casey Baumhauer time winding down knocks in a half court buzzer beater to give her team a three point advantage they would go on a 14 to 2 run in the fourth quarter put this game out of reach as they move to 2 and 0 on the young season well that'll do it for our entire BCSN crew I'm Tim Clack congratulations to Northview as they move to 2 and 0 now on the season so long until next time.